Shut the front freaking door. Did I pick up my camera to vlog again? Y'all, it's been too long. around the world but i ain't never met a vibe like you, a vibe like you. we can get gone baby girl we can do the dash in the cool dash in the cool but we ain't worried about the world we just vibe and this is me and you straight me and you but we ain't worried about the haters but they worry about right now we are getting ready for the gym and basically as i'm getting ready i'm just gonna be telling y'all all my business <laughs> Telling y'all my business. We're gonna be catching up, besties. I miss y'all so much. I hope y'all 2024 is going way better than mine because I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know if I'm on God's strongest soldiers list, but baby, I need for him to remove me effective immediately, okay? Because your girl has been going through it. I have literally been out here fighting for my life, okay? but it's all good though everything happens for a reason besties i miss you guys so much so right now i'm going in with the tula under eye because girl i need to get some more sleep <sighs> guys we need to catch up let's get into it but anyways besties let's catch up and i'm just about to just tell y'all the tea i guess everything that's been going on so for one the last time i uploaded a vlog was like two months ago and it was around november time frame i had just started a new job i had transitioned back to corporate from being a full-time real estate agent here in charlotte and i'm still a realtor okay if you guys need to buy a house hit me up so I went back to corporate it was cool you know the the job that i have was super chill but the vibes is very odd and very weird wasn't really doing much work honestly um and then my contract ended up it was a contract position so then the contract ended up getting extended and i started a brand new role so i started this role in january y'all it was weird like it was weird too at first it was really good vibes but then i could tell that it was a lot of dysfunction very disorganized no one knew what they were doing in the department and they had a lot of unrealistic expectations and eventually that job really started to stress me out um i reported to a black lady it was an older lady she tried to make sense she was cool with me blase blase and come to find out she threw me under the bus to save her own ass it happens it's life it is what it is i don't take it personally it's not the first time i've been fired from a job so it is like it's life you know but i'm just so happy that it happened now versus like later on in the year and i think whenever you're in these type of environments people can see different things in you and it can be very triggering to them. Like when you have a light about yourself, people don't like that. They don't they don't like that. When you're opinionated, when you're outspoken, people don't like that. So I just don't know if working in corporate is for me. Um, so that's why I'm like, let me just get back to vlogging and creating content and getting back to real estate. And that's why I'm just so thankful that I have a real estate license because Real estate is always something that like I can do, always. Nobody can take my real estate license from me, no one. And I really just wanna encourage, if you're watching this video, to figure out like what's your hobby, like find something that you're good at and learn a skill, learn learn a trade, like learn something. Something that these companies cannot take from you or dictate whether you can eat or not because they do they do not care about you y'all they do not care about you especially navigating corporate as a pretty woman people already be having having it out for me i don't know why like people just be mad i'm like yo y'all are weird go to church like pray like do something y'all are mad weird like <laughs> i literally just i can't even exist I'm like, yo, I just got here. Like, why do y'all like why do y'all wanna make my life hard? Why? 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 <laughs> like, what the heck? Oh my gosh, people.
people just be so like I don't know what it is. They just be comparing themselves. Like it just be ugh, I don't know. But anyways, Bessies, you can't break my soul. You can't break my soul. You can't break. Cause I feel like once I start complaining about something, you gotta go anyway. Once I, cause I literally told my mom like. <laughs> I be knowing stuff. I have great discernment. I literally told my mom that day, I was like, I'm not gonna quit. They gonna have to fire me. I told her and then y'all literally, like that was at like one o'clock. She had called me and checked up on me. Uh, I had a meeting with my lead and the other contractor. Everything was cool, come by y'all, uh, whatever. And then at 5.08, the recruiter called me. I was like, oh yeah, they decided to like terminate your contract. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And then at 5.30, I literally went to the gym, y'all. And I worked out because why not? Like I'm literally at the point in my life where I just have zero fucks to give. Okay, cool. The job won't let me go. Okay, thank you for the time. Thank you for the experience. All right, bye. This person, you don't want to be my friend no more. Okay, all right, thanks. I enjoyed the time we spent. Okay, bye. This guy, he don't want to act right. All right, bye. On to the next. Like, I literally cannot continue going throughout life pouring energy and time into situations that don't support me or love me or value me. Like, I deserve to be valued. I deserve to be loved. Like, any, any situation that I'm in, it has to be reciprocal energy. I'm literally taking forever to go to the gym. But I have been on my supplements lately, y'all. I've not been playing. So I take two magnesium gummies. These just help me like get through the day and stress. And then I've also been taking this True Beauty supplement by Women's Best. And basically this helps with just like your skin glowing. So I do one scoop. Then I go in with my MSM powder. I do two scoops of this. This helps with hair grow. Cause y'all I'm trying to get my hair to grow longer. Make it more thicker. And then just pour it, some water. That was straight. And then I'm about to go in with my C4. This is my second, my second container that I've gone through. Y'all, C4 is nothing to play with. This shit be having me booted. Y'all, this shit right here, you have me ready to run a goddamn egg die. <laughs> Y'all, this C4 ain't nothing to play with. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know this right now. <sighs> it's like a reward. Mmm.
Okay, y'all, excuse the mess in the background, but this is what I ended up putting together. I got this little like corset from Fashion Nova. These jeans are American Eagle. I've had them for years. Macy boots, or my Louis Vuitton purse. Yeah, this is what I, I feel cute. My makeup didn't like, I don't know. But I do feel cute though. I feel like this is real cute. It's giving what it needs to get, but I gotta get going y'all. I'm gonna see y'all at Fume. Oh, and let me show y'all my favorite, my fragrance of the night too. Okay, and far as fragrance, I'm wearing this Louis Vuitton. This is like the light pink one I bought for my birthday. It smells so good. Mixed with Bond Number no. Nine, Soho. I don't know. This is like a masculine scent, y'all. Smells so good. Smell like money. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, let's get going. Okay, y'all. Uh, I made it a red egg. Okay. Uh, on my little solo date era. I ordered my hookah and my chicken wings. Minutes is me and you. Straight me and you. But we ain't worried about the haters, but they worry. 